and she is just a just a beautiful, healthy baby girl. New at 10, a second chance for an infant surrendered in a first of its kind option in Madison. We spoke exclusively to the leader of the organization behind the push for the Safe Haven Baby Box expansion and what this means for mothers who feel like they have no other choice. We knew our boxes would get used. We're a little, we're pleasantly surprised that it just took 10 days, but it just shows to me the need. A baby girl, just a few weeks old, surrendered in this safe haven baby box, less than two weeks after it officially opened at Fire Station 1 in Madison. But it was very important for us that the first box be installed right here at home. We wanted it in Madison, and when I approached Mayor Finley and Chief Bailey, both of them were just ecstatic. The newly installed box was part of an effort by Lee Marshall and her nonprofit Kids to Love. Last year, the organization championed legislation to allow the boxes at fire stations and also allow mothers 45 days to give up their baby. Marshall says they hit the ground running as soon as Governor Kay Ivey signed the bill into law back in June. And then we went to work with funders and our donors and raised funds to fund 13 boxes all across the state of Alabama. She says seeing the project become reality means a lot. I can only imagine what that mother is going through to make, in my opinion, one of the most selfless choices to love her baby enough to give that baby up. Um, it's personal for me. I was adopted. I've met my birth mom. Two donors funded the box in Madison. One was the family of Nikki Plot Carlisle. Marshall says Carlisle was diagnosed with cancer while she was pregnant. She refused treatment for the sake of the baby and died just one month after the baby was born. And when I called that family this week and gave them that news, um, her dad just cried. And he, he's not a soft man. Um, and he cried and he said, you know, Leah, I honestly never thought that I would see these used in my lifetime. Madison is the only city in North Alabama that has a safe haven baby box. There's one in Prattville, a suburb of Montgomery. Kids to Love says three other cities also have plans to get one, Tuscaloosa, Opelika, and Gadsden.